Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com. Out here for day two of Desert Brutality 2020, running in the Armored Plus P Division. As I walked up this morning, about 7.58, set my stuff down at uh, Bay 2, and about a minute later I heard, all right, this is your stage brief for this stage. Really appreciate things that run on time. Went through the stage brief, and after that, called out the shooting order. I was gonna be going second. I was like, damn, all right. Setting up my camera, getting everything going. And then, surprise, the person who was supposed to go first, he wasn't there yet, or he wasn't ready, I don't know which. And they're like, you're up. I'm like, roger that. Threw all my gear on and went to it. This stage, you start off, and you gotta go climb under a tank trap, you and all of your gear. And then you go forward some more, climb through another, and then make it up out of a wash get down into the prone and you engage five poppers. Because of how low the sun was on the horizon that early, they were all in shade. Fortunately, using this, had it on about two and a half power, definitely made it easier. I think I might've dropped one or two rounds, but. Knock those down, get up, go up, and then I believe it's called an iron cross. Essentially, total of five different positions, I guess, engaging two hits on steel, steel on either side of the range, and shoot from one position, move to the middle, engage, engage, to the far left, engage, engage, back to center, back to the right, back to center, all the way forward, and then you're done. It was a fun stage. I dropped a couple rounds. I don't think it would have made a difference if I had gone a half an hour later or something like that. But no, it was, uh, it was a fun little stage. And now I have my next hard times like 11. I have a good uh, three plus hours. So I'm gonna go watch some other people run and uh, see what the rest of the today holds. No, 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 it's the other door. Just now finished up my second event of day two. It was, it was pretty fun. Definitely some challenging targets by MOA targets. First, their mini mo, which you engage initially with two hands. You have to get a good hit right in the center and it'll pop a head up and then you get another good hit. I'll drop it back down, put the center back down. Move forward, same hand, strong hand. Move forward again, same hand, other, or I'm sorry, same sequence of targets, other strong hand. Definitely drop some rounds, but shooting one-handed, it's difficult. Should probably work on it more. And after you get through that, charge up your rifle, go over and start getting two hits on steel from barricade. The steel at distance for a rifle that you were shooting behind this, uh, these props, these barricades, is pretty cool. It is basically an Ipsic steel with a sappy plate cutout. So, if you're aiming center mass, it's gonna go right through it. It's not a hit, either pelvic girdle or head. And after you get two hits from each of ultimately four different positions, download, climb on top of Conic's box, and then there's two steel on either side of the range. And you start by getting hit on one, transition to the other, hit, 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 so you get eight hits. And yeah, definitely a pretty fun stage. I, yeah, no. I had a good time. We got one more though, so we'll see what happens.
One thing that's kind of cool is they have a Russian roulette. I want to say there's two live rounds and four already fired cases in there. Spin the cylinder, hand you the gun. No, don't point it at yourself. Aim in downrange, pull the trigger. If it fires, you get a 60 second penalty added to your time. Watch that happen to a couple of people. But if it just goes click, you get a 60 second penalty deducted from your time. So high risk, high gain. I ended up trying it out and it actually worked out for me. So basically knock that spinner out of my scoring. Just finished up my third and final event for day two of Desert Brutality 2020 Armored Plus P. It was a lot of fun. That stage, stage is a good time. You start up close and on the buzzer, draw out two hits on two pieces of steel, drop your magazine, turn, engage a third piece of steel, holster up and grab, I think it's like a simulated rocket or something like that. At that point, you move back and you make your way eventually to three different trenches. At each trench, you hop in there, two hits on each steel and move back to the next one and finally to that last trench. It was a lot of fun. I was, I was like, oh, cool, like this is going good. And then at the end, of course, try and rush the last step, doesn't work. I ended up dropping a couple rounds, more than I would have liked on uh, that very far target, but no, it was fun. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps up day two. So gonna have a little word ceremony. It should be fun and take it from there. One thing I do think that's pretty cool is the award ceremony here. It is, I think the only actual like prize you end up getting is for last but not dead. If you come in dead last in your division, don't DQ, none of that stuff, you end up getting a prize. I think that's cool. In part, it fosters people coming out here and having fun for the sake of the competition as opposed to making it hyper competitive and kind of taking some of the fun away from it. But really good group of people out here, definitely a lot of fun. And overall, it's been a really good time. Really enjoyed myself out here at Desert Brutality 2020 running in the Armored Plus P division. It's been a fun time, definitely grateful for Weapon Outfitters getting me out here so I could run this 
as well as Ventura Munitions supplying some 308 Minuteman Munitions with the 9 mil. Good time out here. If you want to participate in this, I suggest you jump on it. it fills up really fast, initially open to Patreon supporters of InRange TV. And yeah, I think it's a really cool, really fun, well thought out competition, especially with the way the different divisions are set up. Makes for a really good time. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Do you understand the course of fire? Uh, I do. All right. Show, show rifle clear. No, you timed out. Fuck. Fuck. Jump full. Put weapon on safe. Close your dust cover. Highly advisable on this yes. one. All right. Insert a loaded magazine. Three oh eight for all the extra weight. Sweet. You want a dummy mag in your gun, or are you gonna run it? I'm gonna run it raw. Fuck yeah.